There it is. Banana smoothie to start the day. Start your day with a liter of water. If you can't chug a liter, chug as much as you can. Feels good. Do that about a half hour before the meal. So this is a banana smoothie. Yeah. So here it is, course number one. A little bit of rice, a little bit of potatoes, and a homemade burger, which is quinoa, um, black beans, peppers, and yeah. This is where all the bitches hang out. This is what you look like when you don't carve up, folks. Yeah, yeah. This, this is what you look like. Yeah. Hey, Candace, uh, say something to the viewers. What's going on? Um, we're somewhere pretty cool right now. Um, that's my face. It's really good looking. All right. What am I doing? Oh. So who's this guy? What's up, guys? I'm eating uh, some uh, sweet potatoes right now. Having some uh, little broccolis in there, some rice. Some water. It's good stuff. Jamie's uh, homemade meal. So uh, high really carbon good. is pretty good, right? Yeah, it's wicked good. Feels good, right? Feels really good. Going down the pipe, it's nice. Energy, nice. I'm getting there. So, you know, it's like eight o'clock. I'm winding down, but uh, this is uh, bringing me back up a bit. Nice. Got to uh, do some uh, studying after this for uh, school. Sweet. Just gonna hit the spot a little bit. Um, yeah. What's going nice. on over there? Did you have your uh, pound of pasta yet? Well, let's check it out. There you go. So this message has been brought to you by Dr. Esselstein. Prevent and reverse heart disease, plant-based nutrition. So that's what we got right here. We got rice, we got sweet potatoes, we got steamed broccoli, steamed vegetables, a little bit of beans, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. That's when you got this, you got, you get, it's all you got, it's all you need. It's carbon up to win, carbon up to sing. Can you dig it? Yeah. Go. May your bananas always be ripe, San Diego. Here it is. This is what you've been waiting for. Calorie breakdown time, baby. This is actually a screenshot, and the wiggling of the camera is actually just an illusion. This is actually a screenshot. This is 100% legit. Is uh, it's, it's just your imagination. So, anyway, we're checking it out. We got breakfast, sort of late lunch, whatever you want to call it, deal, bananas, sugar, frozen berries, water, half hour between the, uh, before every meal. And this program is called Chronometer. Go to chronometer.com. Um, freak program. Pretty sweet, pretty legit. Um, so, yeah, if you want to. If you want to see this, just take it. Just pause the video. You can read it all. So we're averaging about 3,700 calories, give or take. Again, like this, this isn't completely 100% accurate because I'm not weighing these things. Um, sort of a guesstimation. Obviously, I know how many bananas, but never 100% true on the nutrients. It's always a guess, but. Yeah, we can do the best we can. So let's get down to the meat of it, or the uh, bulk of it. Yikes. So pretty solid. Pretty solid on the vitamins. Minerals looking pretty solid. Fat, 13 grams of fat for the whole day. Pretty solid. But what about protein? Where do you get your protein as a vegan? So I had probably a cup of black beans canned beans in this sort of steamed dish I had today. So that's why the protein's up. If you're feeling like, oh, I'm not going to get enough protein as a vegan, bowl to the only because 100 calories of broccoli actually has a, a lot more protein than 100 calories of um, steak. So just a quick tidbit. Let's check out. So here's the thing. So if you look at totals... 5,000, 4,000, 5,000, didn't register, 4,000 something, 3,000 something, 4,000 something, 5,000, 3,000. So we see a trend. It's always above 3,000 calories 
eat more if you want to live more. So here we go. We're going to do a quick Q&A. haven't read these questions yet. Not going to read all of them, um, but I'm going to check them out. Just going to skim through them. Let's see what we got. So like I said, I haven't read these. So what about your upper body workout? Or to be scientific, do you have an upper body? All we ever see is your head and maybe sometimes your hoodie. That is true. You sometimes see my hoodie. So that's one request. Let, uh, let's see if you have an upper body. And if you do, what does it look like? In other words, like a ripe banana. Sure does. So you've seen my upper body before. This is what it is. Like I said, you've seen it before. That's what I'm saying. Okay, what about your, I guess that says sex. Um, does eating high-carb vegan affect it in any way? In other words, did your hot dog turn into a ripe banana? Buena. Buena? Um, yeah, I've done videos on this too. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll turn the... Um, if you want your carbs, if you want your dong strong, make your carbs strong. So high carb diet, get rid of the animal products, get rid of the animal fat clogging the arteries, get rid of the fat in your diet, eat a high carb diet if you want, increase stamina where it counts. That's all I got to say. There's a reason why the America is number one. Australia is number second. America is number one in Viagra sales. It's not because they're eating a high-carb vegan diet. If that were the case, come on. So, debunked. Um, that's all I have to say about the sex life. Um, yeah, if, if you, oh, you know, it, it doesn't even compare. Trust me. And you can ask somebody else, but uh, that's, another, that's another video. Um, do you, uh, please respond, do you lift weights or do you just do cardio to stay lean? Love your videos. I, I don't lift weights. I don't lift weights um, partly because I hate the gym. I, I can't go to the gym because I can't stand being around guidos and smelling other people's farts and the, the other people's sweat. It just doesn't make sense. It's I don't like it. Um... But, uh, I mean, sometimes I just screw around. I just like to play. I like to play, like to challenge a friend of mine to push-ups. or. But, I mean, that's not really lifting. It's just playing. Um, playing in the monkey bars, doing things. But I also, I'm not into that. I like um, I like being able to be, I'm, I'm trying to get really light so I can become a better cyclist. Because um, that's where I'm at right now. Maybe in the future... Um, I get into lifting, but right now, um, trying to just do, focus on cycling. Um, hey man, do you think there is added pressure in the USA and Canada to attend college and get a degree? Yeah, of, of course there is. People say, yeah, you won't be able to live if you don't get a college degree. That's bullshit. Follow your heart. If I was doing this, um... I basically, I felt like I didn't have a choice to go to school. I feel like I was just funneled into it by the school system, by the education system, by the factory de-education system, whatever you want to call it. So if, I feel like I was sort of pressured. And I'm not sure if I would, if I was using my own money, because my parents are actually paying for, um, let's hope, uh, a lot of it. Um, if that weren't the case, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in debt, because once you're in debt, then you're sort of, you have to pay that back. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but you have to pay it back. So I don't want to, I wouldn't want to be a slave to something like that. And then that goes into why I don't, um, what's one of the reasons why I don't want um, kids. Uh, but that's another story. Check out my video. Uh, vegan 21 year old gets a vasectomy. Uh, I get a vasectomy when I was 21. That's another video. If you want me to do a video on that, I'll do a video. I probably just lost like 10 viewers just because I said I got a vasectomy. But anyway, who needs them? They'll come back. Anyway, so uh, put your exercise into chronometer two. That's not asking a lot. Uh, I don't do it just because I don't know exactly what to put in. I mean, I could put in like the eight 
I usually do eight miles of cycling each day um, for commuting. Sometimes I run, sometimes I walk, but I'd rather just put it into Strava, um, honestly, because um, now that it's just, I don't know, I, <laughs> I'm just not going to put it in. Um, a, because I've never done it before. B, um, it's, it wouldn't be that accurate. And C, when I do put in my exercise, I throw it in Strava. So if you look up Simply Vegan in Strava, I'll come up. But good question. Um, and yeah, give me your questions. Because I, I, this is fun. I've never done this before, but this is fun. Um, and this is such an easier way to then responding to them one at a time. Um, and then I could do a video on it. But anyway, so put your questions. Keep putting them. Keep putting them. Um, could you make a video on how to deal with non-vegan, nutritionally ignorant, and conditioned parents, please? Thumbs up so he can see this. I can see it. Of course I can see it. Um, this is from, uh, Sika, 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 sorry, um, essentially, I mean, I got, I'm the youngest of three boys in my family, um, my oldest brother is 10, 10 years older than me, so I was, I'm, I was, I'm still picked on by them, um, but I think it's an older brother thing, or they're just assholes, um, probably the second one, they don't watch these videos, so I don't care, I don't give a shit, but anyway, um, so they, they, they're still ragging on me. I mean, it's sort of diminished because, um, my brother's wife sort of just slaps him because, um, she sees he's being a dick. But, um, in terms of family, um, in the beginning they were sort of leery, but just because they were concerned. Um, my family just wants the best, um, the best thing for me and for me to be, uh, for me to be safe and for me to be healthy. So your family wants that too, um. Most likely, they don't want. They're not, they're not trying to um, uh, be sort of give you uh, bad food or anything. So it's kind of rough when you you know start telling your parents, yeah, you know the food, the meat you've been giving me, not really healthy. Well, what do you mean it's not healthy? I'm your mother. You, I'm supposed to know. So it, I say be patient. Be patient with them and sort of say let them know that you know that you have. Um, You've done the work and you've done the research. I'm guessing that if you're watching this channel, you've done the research um, or at least beginning to. So um, just have a dialogue with them. And the best thing I found is to ask questions, have them ask questions. If they say, well, what about your protein? Well, why do you need protein? Just have a dialogue. Try not to take it personally. Try not to take anything personally. That's just a tip that I've learned. So good question. Um, and if I didn't answer these correctly, just Throw another question and I'll uh, try and answer them better. Because this is, uh, like I said, I think this helps both of us. Um, especially reading for the first time, this is fine. Banana flavored hair, yep. Um, best line, uh, also quick question. Do you, do you find smoothies are easy for you being a student just to have on the go? Oh my God, it's the easiest thing. Because I throw them in, um, the, I empty these bottles and throw them in there. Probably not the safest, but... Um, if I need to lose the weight, I just go recycle them, or I just rinse them out quick and then use them again, because it's not like plastic, so the um, the flavor doesn't stay in them. So if I rinse them real quick, I could just drink out of them. Whereas I found with the net plastic Nalgene bottles, I have to bring a separate water bottle because um, the uh, um, what do you call it? The um, the banana flavor stays in the uh, um, the plastic. It's getting late. It's, I need uh need sleep soon. But I'm in digging this, so we're gonna keep going. Um I become lazy making salads for lunch. Ah, salads. Uh, yeah. Um so because I'm in lectures and can't eat during them, I often skip them. Don't tell me you skip your uh lunch. Um <laughs> don't don't tell me that. It'll make me sad. Just 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 bring a big smoothie. Get get a couple of these things, get a couple of Nalgene's, drink if you're, if you like, I have 8, 8.30 classes, so I usually drink them in that class. My next class, I'll drink a liter of water, and then the next class, I'll drink the other smoothie. It's super easy, super, super easy. And like I said, I, I have some days where I'm at class from, I leave my house at like 8, get there at 8.30, and then uh, sometimes I'm there until like 9 from work or uh, rehearsal or a show or something. So I make sure I bring enough food. You never want to be hungry. 
You never ever want to be hungry. You never want to be irritable because you're hungry. Um, never cool. Um, so you always want to stay carb. Always want to be carbed up for the next day because the carbs of today become the glycogen of tomorrow. Can you dig it? Uh, I'm going to the city tomorrow and I found out that there are two awesome vegan takeout restaurants only f- like five blocks away from Penn Station. Definitely going to... Oh, that's not a question. Whoops. I should probably read them quicker. Um, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, so this is Chronometer. Um, just so you guys know what I'm using. C-R-O-N... Uh, C-R-O-N-O-M-E-T-E-R. Yeah, smoothie thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. The spinach. Um, maybe this isn't as efficient as I thought, because um, you're just reading me reading the comments that you wrote. This doesn't make sense. Oh, well, here's one. Um, what are your thoughts about eating a regular vegan diet, not high fat and not low fat, just regular fat? Huh. Good question. A whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet based on fruits, veggies, legumes, blah, 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 with bits of nuts and seeds of flax oil. Then you're not a volume eater, just a regular eater. Huh. Being vegan... Whoa, this is a big one. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, amounts of foods and extraction have a history of binge eating. Check. But I'm not even convinced that the body is absorbed by the nutrients. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, da, da, da. yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically, eating a regular vegan diet. So basically, this person saying, "Why not just eat a standard American diet?" Um. But just veganize that. Um, the problem with that is, um, and this is not what you're saying. Um, let me know. But you're saying a bit of nuts, legumes, flaxseed oil, um, nuts and seeds, along with the fruits, veggies, and grains. Which I completely get, and I did that. But the problem is that we, when we say low fat, um, um, j- or no, she says not, not high fat, not low fat, regular fat, that's what everyone says. And regular fat just means 20 to 40% or like 20, 20 to thirty percent of your calories coming from fat, but that's high fat. That's not what our bodies are designed for. So anything above ten percent of our calories coming from fat is super inefficient. Leads to weight gain, and it's not optimal. It's not optimal um, for us, and it's not optimal. Um, it's not optimal for our bodies. So high fat diet. Um, high fat diet is the same as what people think as a low fat diet is, if that makes any sense. Um, let's probably do this when I'm not, when it's not 1030. Um, so I should probably hit the hay soon. Um, but let me just answer this quick. Uh, <laughs> this totally isn't, if, is, uh, inefficient, isn't it? Um, I should probably edit these, but anyway. Um, yeah, so this person is basically saying, why do you have to binge eat? Why can't you just eat till you're full? And I agree. Eat till you're full. Then try to eat a little bit more. Because a lot of times we think we're full because society says we're full. Society says, oh, you can only eat this small portion. Because when, when you go to a restaurant, you get a small portion. And then everyone else is eating this small portion. So if you eat more than that, Oh, I'm binge eating. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, uh, um, you know, I'm not disciplined. Whatever you're saying to yourself. So I think, I think I always tell people to eat more. Don't even think about eating less. Eat more because it gets you, because you, you, we're trained, we're trained. We have a, this habitual tendency to eat fewer calories and fewer portions and fewer volume because of society's tendencies and just because you can have a sandwich a sandwich that's a thousand calories but it's a little tiny thing but most of its calories are coming from fat and then protein so when you eat really really lean you have to eat more just because you need the calories 
So um, increase in volume, increase in carbs. So I, I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to stop with the questions because I don't know if this is um, efficient, like I said. Um, this might be boring, so I don't want to lose you guys. Um, so that's what I'm saying. So this is Jaybird signing out. Thanks for watching. Again, please put your comments down below. If this works, if you guys like this, like this video. Let me know in the comments if you like this, me answering the comments like this. Question and answer, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, so subscribe if you want to see more of these videos so they can pop up in your subscription thing. You don't have to look for them. It's easy, so hit the subscribe button up here, I think. I can never tell which side. Um, yeah, so share this video with somebody who thinks you can't eat communally, you can't eat with your best friend and um, on a vegan diet. So, uh, Jaybird signing out. I need sleep. Let's we'll see you tomorrow for day 13, 14, 13, 13. Yeah, okay. So peace, good night, good morning, Avida Zain, peace.